For the second straight week, our cool game of the week presented by Southern Air lived up to all the hype. The Gina Giant Leesville Wampus Cat matchup was expected to be a duel between two of the best running backs in the state, and that it was. Gina's Zarek Jones and Leesville Xavier Ford combined for six touchdowns. Gina, though, coming up with a late interception to walk away with the 22 to 20 win over Leesville as the Giants are now 2 0 in our games of the week so far this year. And look, you know we've been talking about it on the fifth quarter. We have Jay Rourke once again. It's becoming a habit to be on the show, but it's a pretty good thing, right? I appreciate it, yeah. It's, it's good to be uh, getting attention because we must be doing pretty well, and, and we certainly have so far. I appreciate y'all having me. Absolutely. You know, pleasure. You know, games of the week are reserved for some of the biggest matchups in the area. You guys have been that against Mangum and Leesville the first two weeks of the season. To open it up with two games like that, but to pull off the wins in both of those games, how important was that to not only get off on the right foot, but to do it against teams that you'll see likely come playoff time? You well, know? two things. It gives us great confidence. Last year, we, we didn't win those games. We were 0-2 and then 0-3 and then 0-4. And another thing is it's going to come in handy at the end of the year for power ratings. You know, hopefully we'll get a high seed beating teams like that because I feel like they're going to end up winning a lot of ball games. Coach, you talked about, you know, you starting off the year last year 0-4. Um, obviously, a lot of those games were close ones that you feel kind of got away from you. What do you think is the difference in this year's group? I know you guys have 15 returning seniors. Mm -hmm. Is it more of a conditioning issue or was it more of an execution I issue? I think it's it's more of an, uh, a maturity issue and, and the execution of having a big senior class and a lot of those guys, most of them started last year and, and a lot of them probably have even been starting since their sophomore year. So we got a lot of experience. Last year we didn't. Last year is one of the youngest, least experienced teams we've ever put on the field, and this year is one of the most experienced teams. So it's made a huge difference in, our, in us so far, and, and we're you know miles ahead of where we were a year ago. Coach, we talk about Zarek Jones all the time, and rightfully so, the impact that he has five touchdowns in the first few weeks of the season for you guys already. But I want to go back to something particular with Zarek. He was a defensive back, really, when he yeah. kind of first came up through Gina. And midway through a couple of years ago, you decided – Let's try him out of running back, see what he does. What did you see, whether in practice or whether in small game time, that you thought that he could excel in that role? And has he just exceeded all those expectations for himself? He has exceeded the expectations, but I knew he'd be really good. He's just a heck of an athlete. He works hard. He does whatever he's asked to do. Um, and, and he went in at running back because of an injury against Tioga his freshman year, I think, and, uh, or sophomore year. No, it wasn't freshman year. Anyway, <laughs> he's been starting a long time. He was a really good corner for us, but he come in, I think that was week four of that season. And uh, so he only started in, in six games or five games and ended up being the district MVP as a sophomore and the district MVP again as a junior. So I would say he's exceeded the expectations, but the expectations were high because I knew he was going to be special. And uh, he's getting better. He's young. He's, he'll turn 17 this week. Wow. And he's a senior. So. Uh, physically maturing, he's putting on muscle and becoming harder to tackle. He's just a really good football player. Pretty good birthday present for him the first few weeks of the season Absolutely, so far. Absolutely, yeah, and hopefully we'll get another good one this Friday. Absolutely. Coach, you um, you talk about Zarek. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot of attention going forward throughout the season mm -hmm. on him. Are there more kind of opportunities for other guys where you want to you want to get the ball in their hands to kind of we, you guys. We, ha we need to get the ball in other guys' hands. One, to keep him healthy, and two, to keep the defenses honest. Uh, and, and we have Kim uh, Cokes doing a great job for us at the left half. He did a good job for us the other night, had some really good yardage plays that, that helped keep the chains moving. And, you know, running behind our offensive line is, you know, we can put a lot of backs back there that can have success because they're doing a great job. They're figuring things out and really started to see that in the second half the other night. We were really getting a big surge up front for those guys. Uh, and we expect that to get even better because we're still kind of cleaning up some assignment stuff. But, man, they push people around. Coach, real quickly, you know, we talk so much about the offense, and rightfully so. The defense, though, has really stepped up, you know, against Leesville, holding them to 20 points against really one of the best backs in the state. You go up against St. Frederick this week, especially in the second half, though, that defense has stepped up in big ways. What have you seen from them to, to really kind of – pull out these wins, especially on the defensive side? Well, the, the, the determination. They're uh, extremely poised and they think that they can be really good. We think they can be really good and they go out and they fight. They want to, they fight for the win. They're not just going through the motions and uh, they compete really well. We're very good up front, very good at inside and outside linebacker. Defensive backs are very good and they played really well the other night. You take away two big plays and they, we pretty much shut them down. 
Yeah. Well, with three straight weeks of big time games to start the season, Mangum, then Leesville, you got St. Frederick this week at home. Sure will be an exciting one. Coach, wish you the best of luck. And look, if we keep seeing you on the fifth quarter, it means the team's doing something pretty good. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks Thank again, you, Coach. Coach.